Okay, so series and sequences is the unit. So we're going to talk about sequences that are arithmetic and geometric. So an arithmetic sequence means that you have an adder. Okay, looking at the pattern, you went from 3 to 7, then 7 to 11. What were you adding each move? Okay, that was a simple one and you could probably just see it. What if I couldn't see it? What could I mathematically do? I could take any term, subtract its previous term. I could pick any term and subtract the term in front of it. So, pick me a term, obviously besides three. <laughs> 11, if I subtract the term in front of it, I get four. Okay, number two, we might be able to see this. We went from negative 11, then negative 17. What am I doing each time? I'm adding a negative six. Yeah. I'm adding a negative six. So what if I didn't see it? I could take a term and subtract a term in front. So for instance, I'm going to go negative 23, subtract a negative 17 in front of it, which would equal negative 6. Okay, now I'm guessing that you don't see it once we hit fractions. You probably just don't see it like the other ones. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to pick a term and subtract a previous. So which one do you want to pick? Obviously you can't pick the first one because there's nothing in front of it. So which one do you want to pick? 11 twelfths subtract the term in front of it. How do you add subtract fractions together? Common denominator. Common denominator. So I'm going to go from a 4 to a 12, which changes its top to 3. So what is 11 subtract 3? No, eight. <laughs> 8 twelfths, which is fine, or 2 thirds would have been a good answer as well. Can you do it on your Um, You could, but this is what I really don't like. I won't probably mark it wrong, but... Somebody on their calculator would be doing it and they would have answered me 0.66 or 0.67 and I don't really like that answer compared to this answer. Well, not if you use the fraction. But it's Unless you use the fraction. Answer. Don't be scared with fractions. That wasn't too bad, was it? It wasn't too scary. You just do a common denominator. Okay. An arithmetic sequence has 33 as its fifth term. So I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five. And 63 is its tenth term. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what's going on. its fifth term and then its tenth term. Find the common difference 
So find that adder and then find term one. Okay, so I added something and then again and then again and then again and then again. So why don't we say how much did we go up that whole span? How much is that increasing? 30. 30? I went up 30 and I made one, two, three, four, five jumps. So what would I do? Divide by five, which means each jump would have been adding six, six, six. Does that make sense? So I'm going to say the common difference was adding six. Find term one. So what would I have started this sequence with? What did you say? Somebody said it. Subtract six, subtract six, subtract six, subtract six, or use your multiplication. One, two, three, four. Four times negative six. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go negative six, negative six, negative six, negative six. And what do we end up getting down to? So what I did was I subtracted six four times. So that's the same thing as going down a total of 24. Okay, so that's how arithmetic sequence works. Okay, flip the page. I'm going to skip geometric for now. Okay, so arithmetic sequences still. This is that I'm going to find a term in the sequence. So here I go with the sequence. I'm going 5, 8, 11, 14. Three. And then eventually I want to keep going all the way to the 21st term. So do we understand this is considered term 1? This is term 2, term 3, term 4. I'm trying to get all the way to the 21st term. Okay, I'm not going to do this by hand. I don't want you to do 14 plus 3 plus 3. Plus three, plus three. I don't want you to do that. Is it a, is, is a formula three times 21 plus five? Well, the, the formula is here. So, we're going to go term 21 equals term one. So, what do I put in place of term one? Five is the first term. N. N is the number of terms. So how many terms am I trying to get to? 21 minus 1 times the D, which is the difference, which is the adder. So how much is the adder? I'm doing a plus 3. Okay, bed mass. Please do your bed mass here. What do you do first? Brackets. Then brackets. And then what's after brackets? Times add. So if I kept going, 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 when I got to the 21st, fifth, first position, that term is 65. Okay, number two. So actually, let's go here first. What am I doing each time? Subtracting six. I'm adding a negative six. Okay, we're trying to find term seven. Equals. 
equals term one, which is going to be nine plus n is how many terms I'm trying to go to. So seven terms minus one times the difference which you told me was negative six. Order, right? You do your brackets times add. So six brackets times and then you can do the add. Does your answer make sense to you? If you went down six, down six, down six, down six, does that seem like we would get somewhere like that? Okay, I've had answers like 280 or something, like something that they did wrong, but like think, 280 doesn't make sense. If I keep going down by six, I'm not gonna get to that number, right? Okay. Fraction one. First thing we're going to do is figure out the difference. If you don't see it, we don't see it, I don't see it, how do you figure it out? Take any term and subtract something in front of it. What do you want to pick here? You want to start with the one? Negative one-fourth minus one. Okay, negative one-fourth minus a negative one. Okay, so I'm going to go minus a quarter. Are you okay if I do a plus symbol now? Subtracting negative values. And are you okay if I change four or one to be a four over four? One is four over four. Which means every time I'm going up by three quarters. Okay, I also have seen this from people. Do you notice how these terms going up? This one has a four on the bottom, this one has a four on the bottom. So if I replaced this with a four on the bottom, it would be a negative four over four. Can you now see the pattern? Does this look like I'm going up by three quarters? Okay, you ready? I'm trying to find the eighth term. Term eight. So I'm gonna go the first term plus n minus one, what is the n here? Eight, the eighth term. Then I'm going to times it by the difference, which we calculated. So basically, once you start here, you have to go up by three quarters, seven jumps. That's what it's doing. Okay, so let's do bed mass. So first thing is brackets. So the first thing was seven. If you would like to throw that 7 as a 7 over 1, you can do that. Why is that not, why this one not Why is what, what? Because 7 fourths is not equivalent to 7. But 7 over 1 is equivalent to 7. So this would become 
21 over 4. When I multiply it now, you okay with that? 7 times 3 on the top. And then... Fourteen over four is the eighth term in this. And that's it. Just leave it like that.